Tube, it's Thea, and I'm back for another unboxing. So I've got my February box for Blue Spider Books here for you guys today. If you don't know, my boyfriend's sister got me a six month subscription as my Christmas gift. Um, so I am gonna be unboxing these every month on my channel. If you don't know about Blue Spider Books, it's a subscription service that has a couple of different categories. This category is the paperback bookshelf. So it comes with a paperback book, um, some type of hot beverage, whether that's hot cocoa or coffee or tea, and then um, a couple snack items to go, and a snack item to go with it, and then a scented item that is themed to the book. And then it does also have sometimes a bonus item as well, but I am really excited. This is a heavy one, so I'm really curious of what is gonna be in this month's box. I saw a sneak peek that the book was dystopian themed, which, could mean a whole bunch of different things, but I'm really excited to dive into this and I figured it'd be a lot of fun to open it with you guys. Um, and if you are interested, I will link their website down below and if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments, but let's go ahead and dive right in. So when you open it, it does have here a, um, a kind of a card about what's in it and it does give you a spoiler card, but I'm not gonna look at that because I don't wanna be spoiled. Um, ooh, I already see some fun goodies in here. Okay, so let's look at the first item I see, which is a Blue Spider Books exclusive. It looks like it's a candle, and it's themed Flaming Pages. Ooh, I wonder, I wonder, I might know what the book is. It smells good. It kind of smells like, like, it smells very much like a fire-y, but... I don't know. It smells really good though. Um, and it's a really cute label. They have very cute labels and they do all of their own packaging. And it's a Blue Spider Books exclusive. It's a soy based candle as well. Oh, it's chestnuts and determination is apparently what it says here. Roasted chestnuts plus fierce determination, flaming pages. It smells really good. But it's very cute. I'm really excited. I'm always looking for more bookish candles. So I'm really excited to burn this. And we have the cream. Ooh, I. Oh, these are like my favorite things. Werther's Original Soft Caramels. Soft and creamy caramels made with real butter and fresh cream. I love these. These are so good. I am really excited to eat these. Oh, this is really cute. Googly Eye Push Pins. This is adorable this is really cute i'm gonna use these at work for when i need to use push pins these are gonna be a lot of fun so that's a really cute item let's take a look at what the chocolate is here mexican hot cocoa a delicious mexican hot cocoa you can't resist add three to four tablespoons to hot cocoa or milk for a creamy cup of cocoa servings too and old town spice shop is the way they use to get their hot chocolate and you, always, I really enjoy that you get a lot in here. It's really nice. Um, but I'm really excited to try this. And the next thing I see in here is, oh, they're matches. That's really cute. So it says Blue Spider Books on it. And um, it's little matches. So you can use them to light your candle. That's, that's a really cute, clever idea. Um, and it's got a little logo on it. So that's really cute. And they're, I always really enjoy their packaging because it comes really neatly packaged and that way if it does happen to get wet, it doesn't get ruined. Um, so let's go ahead and find out what the book is. Like I said, I feel like I know what it is considering the things that they gave us. I'm right. It is Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. So this is really funny because I actually have this same exact copy and i just read this in february i just read this in january so that's hilarious um but this is a nice brand new copy this one is a little beat up and it's got annotations in it but that is really funny that i have never had to worry about like duplicates before but i figured this was going to be the book with like the candle and the matches um but i'm really excited i really like this brand new copy um and I can go ahead and get rid of this one here and keep this one. And this one I really enjoy because it's the 60th anniversary edition. So it's got a lot of like extra, um, it's got a lot of extra stuff in it as well. Um, but that's really funny because I literally have the same exact copy and I just read this in January for the first time ever actually. So that's really funny. Um, 
But I'm really excited to have a nice copy. Maybe I'll give this to my... Um, I have a couple people I can give this to, so I might be um, just passing this along to someone to keep this nice copy. But this is um, basically, if you don't know what Fahrenheit 451 is, it is a classic about a kind of a dystopian future where, where firemen actually start fires instead of putting them out. And uh, they start fires at homes where books are found because books are illegal. So um, it's a great read. It has a lot of um, social commentary on censorship and it still has a lot of cultural relevance even in 2019. If you've never read it, definitely check it out. It's a classic, um, but I really enjoyed it. I read it in January. So here's everything that came in this month's subscription. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys have read Fahrenheit 451. If you have, what are your thoughts, comments, and opinions about it? Um, if you guys like to snack while you read, if you do, do you prefer more like sweets and candy or do you prefer like munchies like popcorn and chips? I'd love any thoughts, comments, and opinions about anything down below. As always, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe to get notified of when I post new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy reading and I'll see you guys in the next video.